Right, this is testing the, uh, the hands. I've got them together. I'll just show you what I was doing. I've made a separate auto position panel just for the hands, although they are in, um, not in that one. Yes, they are in this one. So that's, that's my uh, body um, torso one, although they're in there. Just for the time being, because if I, if I move things around in in this uh, panel, it's, it's slightly interfering with some of the other positions. So I've, so I've just moved them over just while I'm testing into a new auto position panel, and I've put them in this one. So we have got open, which are all at zero. When I was originally setting this up, I'd had them at ninety. So all other movements that, that I programmed in kept closing the hands because it was. Um, whenever uh, any, anything else happened it went to 90 um, so that's why I have partly um, pushed them onto a separate panel for the time being so these are all at one as you can see here the wrist is at um, oh, we're on the left hand side the wrist is we'll just bring that up to 90 there you can hear just hear it making a bit of noise right so let's just I'm gonna make sure you can see this on the camera which you can so if we Hold that up just so you can move it. I can now move the wrist around, which I think you can see on there, which you can, yeah. Put that up to 90. These are all set at one, so that is left hand open. If, if I go left hand half closed, you can see the fingers half closing. If I, and they're all at 45. If I go left hand closed, there, the fingers completely uh, clench up into into a fist. Um, I haven't got anything going on with the into the wrist uh, within those commands. I'm just left leaving that at ninety because uh, I think that would be for a, a specific command. So half open takes it to forty five. Let's hold that down. You can see the fingers open a little bit better there. Um, it's not perfect, but it's it's not bad. Closed. Open. And there it is again. So that is, I'm quite happy with that. You can see that this goes to the back. What will happen is it's going to have the back pad, the back support will, will sit on there, which will stop those fingers going completely back uh, and just keep them um, tense a little bit, which is, I think, why Gail designed it like that. But I've obviously got to put that on. Um, I've kept it this. Um, quite loose the other on the right hand i had it slightly tighter but on this left this left hand i've made it much uh, looser um and i'm not going to put finger sensors in this one so i'm just just tied them off and i'll just put i'll just glue i'm gonna put some super glue on there and just put finger um just fingertips back on that one so we could put some actions in there um so if, if we put a new action in saying um half closed new action left hand half closed so we haven't actually put in any of those risk commands there so we'll just go back and we'll just save that just to keep up with it Right, and we called it normal now, didn't we? So, normal, which is where it is at at the moment. So, left wrist rotate normal is as we're seeing it. So, if we go left wrist right. We want to turn that to the right, so it's going to turn. Yeah, let's do it 45 degrees, so uh, 45. And if we want to turn left wrist left, be 135. I think that works. Out, okay. 
if the maths is right, or anything similar to that anyway. So we've now got those two positions in. So we've got the normal position, 90. Rotate left, rotate right. And the fingers are staying at, for the moment, at zero. So if we go back to there, we've now got some additional commands. So if we go left hand closed, we want to add that in. Left hand half closed, we want to add that in. Left hand open, we want to add that in. Left wrist normal, we're going to bung that in. Left wrist left. I would take left that one and take right we're going to put that in save that lock and we can now actually jump between the commands we can just quickly test it so left hand closed we're going to transition to you can see that left hand open we'll transition to you can see that yeah and Left hand rotate left. It's going to go left. Uh, I think that's right. I can't actually see it in there. It's going to go right. Yeah. And that's probably into the middle. And it's going to go back. So we've now got those commands in there. Uh, and we can add voice commands to them as, as we could before. So if we go back into, um, into this page, we can create some uh, left arm commands in there and obviously if we program them we can put the right arms in and we can get Nigel to start counting fingers uh, which I will do I'm not going to do on this uh, for the minute because I'm just going to um, put the covers on the on the actual hand um, before I get too far I'm just going to put these back and I think I'm going to put the arms on back onto the robot so uh, just so he's a bit more um, uh, complete because otherwise we're not really moving forward with them so that's uh, that's it for the moment